have been spread all over the region, frankly. I mean, Al Fadli, we were trying to get him turned over to us when he was in Kuwait. Um, the, they had enormous, they, the, some of them spent some time in Iran uh, when we were unable to get access to them during the Bush administration. So these guys were used something as pawns and leverage within the region. They wouldn't give them over to us. But they would use them uh, it's sort of as a leverage with the groups to get the groups not to commit acts of terror inside their own territory. They would use them with the group in order to negotiate uh, to get them released and where they would be able to go to. And so now this coming together, I think, is what's of real concern, not only to the administration, but to the intelligence community. You want to get in, Paul? And al-Qaeda uh, have been consciously sending operatives, deliberately sending operatives from the Afghan-Pakistan border region to Syria. They realized that that was going to be a safe haven, uh, so they build up their, their operations there over the last uh, year. Al-Fadli is believed to have entered into Syria about a year ago and to have built up the or operations of this group Khorasan in Idlib uh, province to the west of Aleppo. Mm. What do we know about al-Fadli and his connection to September 11? Well, at, at that time, and actually it's so remarkable but that, that he was that young at the time, probably late teens, around the time of 9-11. Myself, I only know of a, other, one other high-value detainee that was that trusted that early on, and he's one of the high-value detainees at Guantanamo right now. was involved initially from more of a facilitation of moving money. Uh, we know him to have been involved, with, at least with the money, for the attack on MV Limburg off the coast of Yemen in 2002. Uh, the cat has a lot of lives because although he was arrested and was on trial in Kuwait, then let go by the Kuwaiti government, he went right back into Al Qaeda and, as mentioned at one time, thought to be the senior AQ person in Iran. What kind of information? Obviously, to get information from someone like him would be extremely desirable. Uh, that's an understatement. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. To, to have somebody with that kind of placement and access, as we say, would be extraordinary. But the most important thing, though, as, as we mentioned, is dis disrupting the forward progress. Likely, if it's an al-Qaeda, part of al-Qaeda core, this would have been, when you're talking about the imminent threat, more than likely at the point where an operative or operatives would go forward to where they would do the targeting, whether Europe or North America.